Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to a very fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who's your life in the line of duty in 2021. And sadly, tonight I'm running for another fallen firefighter and paramedic who have lost his life in the line of duty. Tonight I'm running for firefighter and paramedic Scott Williams. He worked with the Argonne National Laboratory Fire Department in Illinois, and his last alarm was November 21st, 2021 and lost his life after, due to an unmo unknown medical episode shortly after he returned to his bunk following a smoke investigation at a local laboratory. He was 46 years old at the time of his passing, and even though we don't know how long he served with this department, we do know he served four years with the Wilmington Fire Protection District in Illinois, and he also was a 15-year veteran uh, with the Illinois Army National Guard, and he was also deployed in Afghanistan uh, during that time. And he leaves behind a wife, son, daughter, and two grandsons. So now I'm running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track of my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be joined tonight by the Summit County Sheriff's Office patrolling with us during the run. We're also joined by my sister and another supporter running with us, um, as, well, as, well as, my, as well as my whole entire family here tonight. Even though it seems like it's me and two others running, at the same time, there's even more running and it's all the fall and I have ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including fallen firefighter and paramedic Scott Williams. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in our his whole family and department through Dr. Mary going through, and then I'll be on my way. that are tuned in tonight. Tonight, Zachary running his first two miles to honor two fallen heroes lost in the line of duty. This first mile in honor of fallen firefighter and paramedic Scott Williams. He worked for the Argonne National Laboratory Fire Department in Illinois. His last alarm, November the 21st, 2021, tragically lost his life following an unknown medical issue that he had shortly after returning to his bunk following an investigation of uh, smoke at one of the facility's laboratories. He was 46 years old at the time of his passing, and though we don't know how long he served with the Argonne National Laboratory Fire Department, we do know he served four years with the Wilmington Fire Protection District in Illinois. He also served his country. Zechariah completing his first of seven laps of this year. Our hometown agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, for joining us tonight in honor of this fallen hero, fallen firefighter and paramedic, Scott Williams. As I was saying, not only did he serve his community well, he also was a 15-year veteran of the Army National Guard, having also been deployed for a period of time in Afghanistan. So he served not only his community, but he served this country that he so loved. And sadly, he leaves behind a loving family, including a wife, a daughter, a son, as well as two grandsons. Fortunately, lost his life November the 21st, 2021 after suffering an unknown medical episode after returning back to his bunk following a smoke investigation at one of the facility's laboratories at the Argonne National Laboratory. Zechariah now running his second of seven laps, which is one mile, to honor fire and fire and paramedic Scott Williams this evening. Every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. The flag he carries tonight, the red line flag, will get sent to the family of fallen firefighter and paramedic Scott Williams, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the evening. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be part of this mission. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero fallen firefighter and paramedic Scott Williams. 
We extend our thoughts and prayers to both of his agencies, the Argonne National Laboratory Fire Department, as well as the Wilmington Fire Protection District in Illinois. We also extend our prayers to his wife, his daughter, his son, and his two grandsons. We hope this run honors him well, and we thank him not only for his service for his community, but his service to his country. Zachary, any final words for the family 
a fallen firefighter and paramedic, Scott Williams. To the whole family of fallen firefighter and paramedic, Scott Williams, his wife, son, daughter, grandsons, the rest of his family, we hope you all heal very soon through the past and be loved one. Firefighter and paramedic Williams was 46 years old at the time of his passing, and he was really just a dedicated life servant. Um, ever since he could be at the age to become one, he first started off in the Illinois Army National Guard for 15 years. He was also deployed in Afghanistan during that time. And then he, when he retired and um, became a veteran, he uh, moved to firefighting and served with the Wilmington Fire Protection District as well as the Argonne National Laboratory Fire Department in Illinois. He was overall an incredible person. And I know that it's still um, out there on what actually happened to him. We know it's some sort of unknown medical episode, but what I'm guessing is he spent, he, um, he, he worked his hardest that day and, um, and he made sure that he was doing everything correctly to make sure everything was safe around his community. I'll never forget him for the sacrifice he made during his um, time. And I also know uh, he worked for the Wilmington Fire Protection District, which we have, I believe, run for in the past. Um, so if you all would stay, um, just keep your prayers with the Illinois community. Um, I know that they've had a tough week in general. Now, um, if you are part of the family, we'll be sending you a line flag. We're going to sign your hero's honor very soon, as well as a handwritten note that I've already written and is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is no preference on what we want to do, to do with the flag or the note. But whatever you do with it, we, we hope you find comfort. Every single time you look at it, look at your fallen hero, um, fire, um, firefighter, and paramedic uh, Williams will never be forgotten down here in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation. Now, if all of you sound like joining in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day, kidding, one amazing thing, firefighter and paramedic Scott Williams did during his life, including as a firefighter and paramedic, and maybe when he was with the Army National Guard as well. Um, each second can also dedicate almost a year he served as a um, servant toward his community, plus 15 years uh, he used with the Army, as well as um, adding on a few more as a firefighter. If all of you now, please join us in this 21 second moment of silence. To help out the family department, please join us right now. We really appreciate you joining us at 21 seconds. Like I said, it does mean so much to the whole family if you join us in that moment of silence. We still have one more run to do tonight. The final one is for a, uh, a fallen corrections officer um, out of Kentucky who lost his life following the Midwest tornadoes that happened uh, in the past week. If all of you please join us in that run, then it would mean a lot to their community um, as they go through a difficult and hard time. Thank you all for watching. We hope you all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.